Hey everyone, I'm Amanda from Mandelin Plans. Welcome back for my September bullet journal setup. This is going to be a pretty short setup. I don't have a lot of pages that I wanna get set up, but I did want to experiment with how I'm doing that. If you watched my Boho Berry box unboxing, then you know that there was nothing to help with the bullet journal setup this month. In this past several months, there have been washi and stickers and things to put in your bullet journal. And we did get a few of them, but nothing for to help with the theme at all. No washi tape or anything. So I wanted to do something different. I am going to be using my washi sheets for the Hobonichi Cousin because that is what I'm planning in. And we're just gonna kind of mix it up and see how this turns out. I really have no idea what to expect. So um, just to talk about a couple things, like I said, this is the fall floral washi sheets. I just have two of them because I don't know how many I'm gonna use. And then I have a couple of these September freebies, um, my hand lettering. I don't know exactly what or where I'm going to put those. And then I have my Twisby. This is a medium nib, it's an eco, and it is inked with Apache Sunset. And I actually pretty much always keep this ink in here, and I think it'll look pretty with these stickers. So the first spread that I wanna do here is sort of just like a welcome September, but also I wanna do a one line a day. So I'm thinking that I wanna put this washi across the top. I've never done this washi on the daily page before. I think I'm gonna line it up just with this, kind of the six o'clock hour here and just go across that line. And then I'm going to, where did my September, oh, dead air. A September here. I wanna do it right in the middle or kind of, let's kind of do it like this. Is that centered? more or less September and then I need 30 lines so if I start here and go all the way down 30 will be about like that so I do have room to do another thick washi if I want it I don't know if I want to do another thick washi or if I want to do the little yellow maybe I will do another thick one just to cover up this calendar and stuff at the bottom so I will line it up with this line here. All right, so I like the way that that looks so far. Now I'm gonna go in and I am actually going to wipe these out. I don't always do this, honestly, just because, I don't know, sometimes I can just ignore it fine on my own. But every once in a while, I do find it helpful to go ahead and have it whited out. Uh-oh, is my white out? Oh no. Is it gonna work? Sort of. This is interesting. I've never had it happen. I've never had to do this before. Goodness. Okay, so I have been using the BIC without any problems before. I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions on the correction tape that they like to use. So please tell me in the comments which one is your favorite because this one, I mean it's working kind of and then it sticks back out again. So I'm not sure why it isn't. So it, I can get it to work, I mean if I take the time. But whiting out was already taking more time than I actually really wanted to. I didn't really want this to... Goodness. I just need one more number. What white it out? Is it white it out? Or how do you what's the past tense of white out? Please tell me that in the comments too. Okay, this is not working for me. Okay. Whew. Hope oh, there's a little one peeking out. I know, I have more downstairs. I should probably just go get a new one for future. I don't know that I wanna bother with this. Okay, so now that that is taken care of, I can go ahead and write in my numbers. I think I want to start at 30 and work my way up. 
The bummer is I don't know how this fountain pen ink is going to work on this white out and so I almost think that I should still go ahead and write my numbers on this side of this line but that'll make it to where I even have less room to write. Decisions, decisions. No, I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna try and just see what happens. So one. Okay, so I do still have several lines. So I think what I wanna do is actually put one of these yellow polka dot washies down just to kind of take up that space and add just a little bit of extra. So I haven't written one line a day anywhere and I could pull up this September and put it more in the middle and then I would have room to write one line a day, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I know what I'm doing and we'll just leave it at that I think for now. So this is a medium nib and it is a pretty juicy ink. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put something here while I flip my page so the ink doesn't transfer to the other side of the paper, just kind of acting as blotting paper. And then, so I have two more spreads that I would like to do. One of them is just um, somewhere where I can put YouTube videos that I wanna make for the month. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the yellow dot washi at the top here to cover up some of this box. And then I think I wanna put this thin washi underneath to cover up, whoops, to cover up the rest of that box. And since I have it, I think I will go ahead and use another September. How should I do this one? There's not enough room there. I really like this, so I don't want to cover up too much of it. Maybe I'll just kind of do it like that. I don't have a ton of YouTube videos, at least not as many as I used to. So I think that even doing that with it taking up that much, I think I still should have plenty of room to write my videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write YouTube and then Something that I have learned about myself is that if a page is already set up and all I have to do is go in and write my ideas down, I am much more likely to actually use the spread. So if I just left this as is, I probably wouldn't be as likely to come back and actually put my videos in. But if I go ahead, and this seems, it probably seems really silly, but if I just simply go in and go ahead and put my check boxes in, so that there's somewhere to write my video ideas down, then I will be more likely to use it. So I'm already setting myself up for success just by putting in these silly little boxes right now instead of waiting until later. A video idea comes to me. I don't wanna forget it. The box is already there. I can just put it down really fast and close up my planner and move on with my day. It's not a whole get out my stencil, find the right pen, all of that. So that's probably enough for me. I might go ahead and add just a couple more. Sometimes I go ahead and add video ideas, even if I know I'm not going to film them this month, just so that I get them off of my mind and I don't have to think about it anymore. I don't have to worry about remembering. So that's helpful. And then I do think I want to go ahead and put another thick washi down just so that there's some consistency. So I think I lined it up with this last, not the very last line, but the one on top of the last, the second to the last, that's what I'm looking for. And that is not straight. Get that out of the way. It's different, I'm used to lining it up from the bottom. And so now I wonder if I should just flip my, should probably just flip my planner around and do what I'm used to so that it's a little bit easier. But now that my sticker is curled up, it's gonna be a little, there we go. Okie dokie, great. 
And then while we have this here, let's go ahead and do the bottom here as well. I think what I'm gonna do is something similar to this here, except I think I want to do, do I wanna do yellow in the middle and then the thin on either side, or do I want to do the yellow on either side and the thin in the middle? Let's do that since there's so many flowers here. So I'm gonna line up this the same, and I don't know how the thicknesses are going to line up, if this is even gonna look that great, but we are gonna try it. Remember this is an experiment. Remember that experimenting in your planner is encouraged. You can definitely do whatever you want in your planner. And sometimes if it doesn't look good, that's even better because you know what not to do for the next time. Oh, so that's really neat. I did not know that. Okay, so these are basically the same thickness. That is fun. Okay, so yay, that's fun, I like that. And then I'm gonna put this thick one up here. So it's not like the exact same, but it's kind of going back and forth. Does that make sense? Okay, so if I line this up, what, the six I think I did before, yeah. I'm gonna line this up on the six line. But then there's some variation, and so it's not super matchy-matchy and all of that. So it definitely goes together and flows, but it's not overkill. So I am really liking that so far. So this is going to be a place where I can put um, shop things. I have a lot going on in September for the shop and so I need a place where I can just put things down and kind of just like a brain dump but a specific brain dump. So this is going to be so here I'm not going to put bullet points. I'm not going to have it be as structured. Here I can kind of do some mind mapping or brainstorming or whatever I need to do in this space. So as simple as that was, I hope you enjoyed this September bullet journal setup. It is definitely different. I've never used these stickers in this way before and so it will be really fun to see kind of how this all flows and um, how I decide to use, if I want to do anything with this page, I could, depending on the other spreads that I do, I could incorporate these some way too, especially these dots. I could definitely put those to work. Let me know in the comments what your September bullet journal theme is. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.